Hey guys, welcome back to B and B. Um, yeah, like some sort of uh, demented Lazarus, move, missing half his brain. My machine is back and alive. I was trying to look at the right side of my screen to show you my computer there, but I can't because it's outside of this world. But ah, whatever. Um, yeah, you can tell by the uh, amazing clarity of my voice as it always is, that I've managed to get my old PC fixed. Uh, it was literally just the PSU. Big shout out to Forrest for helping me on that one. Oh wow, yeah, like, I, I, I was just so, so depressed. So, so low. Uh, but yeah, it's all sorted now and we're all good and I've got this amazing view. Uh, today, as always, we're working on the spider spawner. This should hopefully be the last last thing we we have a little bit of tweaking to do on the spider delivery system and i'd like to make this side pretty uh i i have a small idea it's going to involve hollowing all this lot out um i'm going to put a, an enchantment table here the um jerry brano one you know the one the one click thing where you walk in you press a button it pushes up the right number of um bookshelves i was going to make a a, a what a two or three state one where you, you know you've got one for you know the silk touch book you've got one for the silk touch pick you've got one for the maximum enchant but i was like well every time that i i actually come to do something different in enchanting it turns out that i need another random level so i thought i'd just make one that was completely uh customizable yeah that's the word i'm looking for um and so I say I'm doing the one by by Jerry Brano. It's not like I've got the tutorial open and I'm and I'm doing it straight off. Uh, what's actually happening is I've I watched it about 20 minutes ago. I got a rough idea of how it works, and now I'm going to try and kind of just cobble it together um, because that's the way that I learn how things work. Uh, it, it takes many many false starts and, and laughs along the way but we'll, we'll get there eventually and I did not mean to remove that block but that's okay we'll we'll just put a put a hole here uh, right so what am I doing what am I doing uh, I also show you that I've ah oh, oh, I left one off here and there was another one missing over here but I've, I've dark clay uh, black stained clayed the roof and I intend to uh, so you remember I was talking about up on top here let me let me get up and have a look that uh up on top here i was having a lot of trouble with monsters spawning what i'm going to do is on these particularly dark patches i'm going to put a bit of glowstone above it now i'm hoping that the solid base and the fact that the windows are so far away from the glowstone is going to give us the um give us the light levels that we're talking about hello spiders that's probably far too dark for you guys to see in there, but eh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I've got a load of sticky pistons. Oh, all my comparators are still in this this thing here. Uh, comparators, enchantment table. I've got the bookshelves. That's far too many bookshelves. 15 bookshelves. Right, okay. And then I need to think about how I'm also going to make this look pretty. Now my original plan was to have some sort of curving buttress coming out over this way to support the ceiling and then have this as a stark line back here. Um, so you come down here, meet a corner and then go this way and then possibly, if I can stick ladder on glass, make this drop shaft glass. I don't have any glass to test that though. No, I don't have any glass to test that. So what I'm going to have to do is go get a bit of glass and then I'll be back for a little bit of testing. Right, and we're back. Oh, let's try it again. Right, we're back. Uh, I was going to test glass and... Oh, let's move that out of the way. I have inventory full of rubbish stuff. Ah, ah. Okay, so we can't make it glass. Can't go on... No, okay. Hmm. All right, so we're going to have to change the plan there. Um, what's a nice unobtrusive material that we can stick f fence posts, uh, not fence, uh, ladders to? I'm not sure, I'm not sure about that for now. Maybe we'll make it a, a bit of iron like this. Um, we should probably do that before the iron farms get completely nerfed by the one point out. Well, they're not completely nerfed, to be fair, there's there's still a lot of, lot of use in them. It just means you have to manually kill stuff, which is kind of all right. I see what, what Dinner Bone's getting at. Um, I believe, like since early on, uh, the the whole Mo Mo Yang crew have been pretty much anti the automatic um, automatic farming of mobs. So it's not it's not like it's a, a great big shocker that what they've come come along and made it like hard to to farm stuff. Right. So 
looking at this wall it can't quite do what I want it to do but I definitely want to carry on with some sort of slopey nature um, which means taking back all this so I think what I'm going to do is take all this back um, and then come back when I have a, a nice hollow space because I, you don't want to you don't want to listen to me prattle on about you know how I want this uh, brought back so far and take away these blocks and all oh, looks some iron because uh, it's all just a bit benign really isn't it so when I have something important to say about what I've done I will be back to say what I've done uh. And what I did do was actually quite a lot of stuff. Um, well, quite a lot of redstoning, not too much on the aesthetic king, I suppose that's a good word. So I, I, I ended up throwing this design all the way across. Um, it just, it was just the easy option. I, I, I know I should have probably scratched my head and come up with something. Uh, I did put the glass here because the main thing I didn't want to do was like put this wall in and then lose the view of the, the, the spider. Though saying that, it's still quite a bit gloomy in here. Um, I've also done an awful lot of uh, redstoning. So back here we have this wonderful device. Um, it's a multi multi-selector um, enchantment table thing so basically works with uh, above these buttons there is a line of redstone and comparators um, which basically remember the sig well, well, basically pass on the signal strength uh, onto a little logic unit um, the logic unit is these two comparators here so the strength gets passed along um, this comparator here into this one uh, where, it, where it gets passed back and passed back and passed back and they just remember what's going on um, and then this line passes it down to another uh, so you see we've got this redstone line and comparator and redstone line and comparator all this lo loop here is what remembers the button strength and then down below it next to the sticky pistons is what translates the bat into how many pistons are going out so um, input for buttons little logic unit passing it down to the output of um, sticky pistons which makes this wonderful thing um, yeah fully fully programmable customizable selectable whatever word you want to use uh, bookshelves for for enchanting you, you just press the button and there I, like, I am literally blown away Jerry Brano you are a genius mate uh, what else have we got so downstairs I've been hacking away underneath and putting an awful lot of red stoning in um, so I've had this lever here from the word go pretty much uh, that closes that off and then this button now is connected to the crusher back here via this monstrosity uh, this is a hopper clock hooked up to an RS nor latch uh, which basically turns on the crusher and then turns it back off when the items go across and back you know the items go across this immediately lights up which closes the crusher then this is the timing circuit for when all the items are passed across it then passes them uh, pass across to here this one turns off turn the rs nor latch off which is this these little bits down here which pass the items back it's simple right um, the reason that I wanted that rather than just uh, turn it on and off, if I if I grab, well, I need to do something about this floor, make it a little bit better. If I grab a splash potion, right, and no, that's going to close anyway. Uh, obviously, this floor is going to be sealed up, but I want to show you what's what's going on here. Uh, so that's now the perfect time. Now you can either go in and fist them um, because it's like these are are perfectly. Ah, he got me. How did he get me? Yeah, perfectly. Ah, oh. ah. Oh, all right. Let's put this back in. I'm going to take it away to show you stuff in a sec. But there we go. Perfectly set up for that. But also splash potions. Boom. Right. So underneath, the the items are getting passed off into this dropper, and I've got gone and got myself stuck in the water again. Uh, gonna go passed off into this dropper the moment the item goes in the dropper this comparator goes on this torch goes off this clock starts which makes the dropper tick yeah comparator clock dropper 
it's nice and simple. Uh, that pushes it into the water system where I have a slightly unorthodox sorting system because I was trying to figure out sorting system where you pass it along from hopper to hopper and, and stuff like that. That's why this dropper is important. Um, but it, it didn't work. I, I just couldn't get it to work. But I have a spider's eye filter um, and that will take spider's eyes out and pop them over there. And then at the back we have another hopper that picks up literally everything else. Um, this clock gets fired, which then sets the, the, the dropper stack off, um, which all the way up there, I'll just uh, run on up here, up, up, which all the way up here connects to the back of this particular chest, which I think is quite nice. Um, when that chest fills up, I'll either move stuff or extend the, the dropper um, system. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to do the same thing for the spider's eyes. I just thought I'd uh, take this moment now to show you what I was doing because I was starting to get a little further ahead of the progress reports than I like to do. I generally like to show you each bit along the way, but there we go. That's three or four bits. I hope that wasn't too much at once. If you can't follow it, I don't know, come on, come on server and ask me what's going on and I'll show you. Um, so yeah, all right. Uh, there's a few things to be sorted out. Like I say, there's the the the, the spider's eyes handoff and getting rid of all this stone and trying to make it so I don't drop down here. And this line of functionality, you'll notice the line of um, uh, jack o' lanterns. That this is the line where you have to stand in front of to work the spawner. So yeah, all right. All the problems should hopefully be sorted out next time I speak to Yows. guys well you just watched me uh <coughs> have a little time lapse of me pulling hit this guy up the stairs uh, and now unfortunately we've we've run into a, a small issue um i'm doing this because a little while ago uh blunty was helping out a, a player and managed to do the slash kill command when they got a little bit swamped uh not realizing that this would kill quite a few mobs um, and now unfortunately we're going to have to replace Charles Worthian um, I'm not sure how to get him through this little gap I think we're what we're going to have to do is go for all four of them oh he died easily and just kind of try and try and get all of them with me if we, if we can get one th this guy seems most with it let, let, let's, let's, let's have him um, yeah we'll, we'll time lapse a bit more and hopefully get this guy back to Charles Worthian's place. I'm sorry. 
we're going to have some trouble. Stars, I christened me Charles Worthy in the second. Did we get that on him? We did. Right, now, uh, break this one. And we've got to try and nudge him. There we go. Way fixed it. Alright, well, I'm just going to run and grab some, uh, some black glass and take down all these signs as obviously this is a different slime they couldn't possibly be uh, protesting against this slime surely <laughs> right and uh, yeah hopefully ooh, hopefully I won't fall down there yeah I'm gonna patch this up and then it will be done yay little things Right, well, I think I've finally nailed it, guys. Um, oh, it's been a hell of a build. Far too long of a build, if you ask me. I mean, well, this is spread over uh, something like three episodes now, and to be honest, I'm bloody sick of this place. Uh, we've got, like, a couple of chests worth of string. Um, what's in here, plus what's in the other one. Um, the crushers are working fine now. Um, oh, hello. There's a... Uh, jockey in there, that's pretty cool. I haven't really dealt with how with bones, but uh, enough, enough anyway. Uh, so yeah, if we just I, I, I like the little thing where it resets the door to make sure it's closed when when the crusher comes out. And th this is actually really actually quite useful because if everything's being crushed and it dies, it tries to spit the string out. Um, and if the door is open, it'll just kind of like throw it out onto the floor here. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, my redstone room is looking pretty um, cobbly and stuff. But as I say, I, I, I've kind of had enough of this place. I should probably leave myself away around here. Um, but yeah, all the all the redstone is accessible in case anything breaks or people want to come have a look. Um, hopefully, people coming to have a look will not break it. But yeah, uh, we've got this wonderful picture put up. Um, this was just a big expanse of birch wood, and I popped this up, and then like within the second one, this popped up, and I was like, you know what, this will do. <coughs> I say this will do. This is the ideal space to take up here. Uh, I like what I've done with the um, jack o' lanterns underneath carpet. I, I think it's a, a really nice way of lighting stuff up without it being like so obtrusively lit. So it's just a kind of a, a gentle background glow, um, like you see down there. There's one in that corner there, and it just kind of lights the place up without actually having like horrendous torches everywhere. Uh, up top, there we go. You can see that I've put glowstone up top. Um, and also inside it doesn't make it too bright so we're still getting a good uh, good spawn rate for spiders uh, I, inside wah, um, I quite like what I did with the roof here uh, it's kind of all just like different height um, bits I, d I don't like this but unfortunately I did the bit middle bit and then did this bit and then tried to meet the two up in the middle and it, it kind of did this um, but from there on I think it all went incredibly well um, so yeah, I, I think, I think finally we're done. So all that's really left to say is, uh, thank you very much for joining me for this build adventure. Uh, next time we're going to be working on either King of the Hill or my storage vault, because finally I'm starting to run out of, um, space to put stuff. Uh, so yeah, bye bye!